and in three, two, one, go. Hey guys, ShadowLink793 here, and we're back with Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, and we're back with Zack here in Shinra headquarters. And you grinded VR missions. Yeah, I grinded off screen. Uh, keep in mind, if I kept all uh, the missions I had to do, um, we would have been there a long time. Behold, he is 20 years old. What level was that last part? I don't know, level 2. No, I think it was level 2. I think it was like level 6 or something. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Spongebob hasn't said that in like years. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, let me just... Let me just get something. Fuck. That dot is really pissing me off right now. What, that dot in the middle of Song's forehead? Yes. Is that like a mole? I guess. Is it a mole? No, it's to distinguish his character. I don't know. Do you remember watching the third Austin Powers movie? Yes. Gold member. Mole, mole, mole. Mole? Well, that mole was huge. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It's just like, I see his face and I just look at his mole. Mole! Mole! They have helicopters in this game. What is this bullshit? They've had it. We did. We were in a helicopter in the first in the first part. Not in Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, they were. Of course there were. Did you actually were. ride in a helicopter during the game? I'm trying to remember, but there were helicopters in the game. No, so you had a, you had the freaking you had the freaking airship. I'm talking about a no. There was there was helicopter. yeah yeah there was a helicopter in seven. You were chased by one. No, did you ride in? I don't remember. Exactly. It's some bullshit. You can strap missiles to that thing. If you like college. Well, 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 it's Shinra's head. It's Shinra's freaking helicopter. We remember we were we're part of Avalanche. Spoiler alert in the future. <laughs> we, we, I, mean, I mean, like, uh, I would capture some helicopters, right? Unless unless none of them knows how to drive a helicopter. Helicopters That's are hard to... Who drives the freaking airship, then? Sid. The airship is different, though. No, it's not the same thing. No, it's not. Like, freaking, it's like, a, it's like okay, it's like the inside of a ship, but with, like, the, the steering wheel. But depending on, like, what medium makes it, like, look whatever it is. We could probably do the same thing. It's like a boat and a speedboat. Dude, the helicopters are thing. helicopters are freaking hard to drive. <laughs> those are pretty similar how to drive. Okay, so our, our mission here is to fucking destroy shit. Hey, look, it's the dumb what? apples. Yeah. <laughs> you know that important that thing awesome. that Angel told us we were stupid that for not knowing about. Hey, look, it's an important plot point now. Kinda. Mail. Mail. You've got mail. Oh god. <laughs> I can't believe there's people out there that actually still use AOL. Really? Yes. Yes. Code and all. So yeah, if you notice, uh, we're pretty much gonna be two shotting or one shotting all our enemy, all our enemies here, aside from bosses. Yay! Thanks to off-screen grinding. I managed to record like an hour of game footage, but if if, if I was to record the out the, the hours of grinding, it'd be like four or three hours. Look, it's a giant robot. Oh, this thing looks familiar. <laughs> no, hey. And I don't, I don't understand the significance of the curved blades. Is that like battle wise? Is that like useful? Yeah, there's a way. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, say you sword clash. Yeah. Some blades are curved so you can get them at angles. Yeah. Bad uh, hey guys, don't look at explosions. They, they blow things up and they okay, walk away. Okay, here's my question. You're going up against this giant bipedal... You're, you're, you're fighting Metal Gear, okay? You're fighting Metal Gear. You think you go at it with a sword. Final Fantasy logic. You're going at it with a sword. Final Fantasy logic. <laughs> That's like a tank, and you're gonna hit it with a freaking tree branch. Actually, not even just a Final Fantasy thing, just an anime thing in general. I don't know, dude. Come on, in most animes, this is like standard issue. <laughs> is it standard issue? <laughs> yeah, taking your main character taking on a fucking machine with a sword, or like a big giant beast with a sword. That's kind of typical oh, of anime protagonist. Dead. A Genesis copy. Internet. <laughs> the technology. 
was stolen dun, dun, from dun. Huh? Oh no, we have technology stolen from us. I'm surprised that thing isn't blown up. Right. Okay, this is what kind of bothers me about this game. You notice that there's like two, three different cutscenes. The one where they have like this in-game model here, talking like stiff like conversations with each other. And then there's the the awesome CGI cutscenes, which you barely see any of, unless it's a really important cutscene. Or like the ones that are like midway, the um, anime cutscene HD and midway using this game gra using this game's graphics for um, convos. That's what Kingdom Hearts did. Yeah, but Kingdom Hearts actually also had bubbles. Still, or, that's what they did. They had three kinds of cutscenes. One that was CGI, one that they did move their mouse, and the other one that they did move their mouse. Yeah. Well, this game came after... I, I want to say this game came after at least Kingdom Hearts 2. Because, <laughs> um... Or, did, it, did this come around the same time as Birth by Sleep? They probably have the same engine. Yeah, because uh, Zack was in Birth by Sleep. Granted, he was a fucking kid for some reason, but he was yeah. in Birth by Sleep. I mean, like, he trained with freaking Hercules. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, speaking of Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts, you think... So what... So what do you think they're going to do for Kingdom Hearts 3 in terms of Final Fantasy characters? We already went through this conversation already. I don't know. How many other Final Fantasy characters can they throw at us? I don't know. There's like a vast universe of them. Here's the thing. They only threw 7 and they only threw 8, right? Yeah. That's it. So where's 10? What about 9, 10? <laughs> 9, no one knows about it. 10, maybe some people know about it. They're not the most oh no 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 Final never Fantasy. mind no never mind they put they put Titus and Waka in in kind of Kingdom Hearts yeah but and they, and they also they, and they also put whatever is, they put Orin the they also put Orin in the game he is from Ten he was badass well that was the only time. yeah it's just the, you didn't get to use it that much don't worry I mean like whatever. <laughs> What? You're paid much better than what we are. What the fuck? Then why am I working as a soldier? I get you get paid for this. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. They haven't done any guys from eleven. I don't know if they're gonna do thirteen. <laughs> no, they better not do thirteen. <laughs> they didn't even do the classics like one, two, three, or four, or five, or six. Well, I guess if anyone wants to see if their favorite Final Fantasy characters in one game, they can just play the studio. <laughs> yeah, but like Kingdom Hearts, though. Yeah, that's true. Well, in terms of thirteen, they're not they're, the only person I can see they put in thirteen is lightning, and that's about it. Yeah. Maybe snow. I really hope not. Yeah. And maybe lightning sister, just for like uh, as a cameo or something. I don't know. She was the main character in Final Fantasy thirteen two. Two. And some weird plot convenience in Final Fantasy thirteen three, but I don't understand that either. Uh. <laughs> What, you mean Lightning Returns? Yes. Her and her monotone-ass voice. God. God, whatever. Okay. I want to bring up a certain topic of mine because it's something near and dear to my heart. Wait, do you think 15 and 3 will come out in the same year? Uh, they, are fifth, did they, they haven't released, not to release date for 15 and, or 3. Or Kingdom Hearts 3 or Final or um, Final Fantasy 15. Tokyo Game Show. Tokyo Game Show. So we found we just found out in Gio's house. I I honestly didn't know this was his house. I kind of just Seriously? took a gift. Yeah, I I I haven't played this game forever. You're supposed to be looking for his house, and I, it was in the first house that I saw. Thanks, 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 thanks. Metal Gear Solid 5. I want to talk about Metal Gear Solid 5 because that game just got just got released. Yeah. And I'm sad that I can't play it. Well, neither can I. Well, actually, I could. You can play it. I could, but I don't really feel like it right now. I'm kind of waiting for a, kind of waiting for a price drop at least. I got school. <laughs> Genesis came back here with an army. And I feel sad because I spoiled the entire story on myself. Well, I wanted to play Arkham Knight, but I had to, but I couldn't play it, so I had to spoil the whole story for myself. I mean, and and game is game is fine. Story is a bit weird some places. I think we've already talked about this. Yeah, I know. But I'm talking about Metal Gear. Metal Gear, I'll play it. I mean, I could. I 
mean, I have to play it, because, like, it looks super fun. Do you think, uh, I'm pretty sure this is Kojima's last Metal Gear game, since he already, I think he already got the axe from Konami. Fucking better be his last game, because I want to see Zone of the Enders 2. Well, he's not with Konami anymore. Shit. Well, I think... Thanks, Zone of the Enders 3. Do you think Konami, what, does Konami own the rights of Zone of the Enders? Probably. Oh, uh, well, then again, maybe Kojima will just be another Kickstarter person on Kickstarter. Kickstart, 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 like Shenmue 3! Shenmue 3! I don't even remember playing the other two Shenmue games. I don't even know about the other two Shenmue games. It's praised for its hyper-realism well, open world. Well, then again, I didn't have a Dreamcast growing up. I am me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like one of those systems that I never got as a kid. Not because I didn't want one, I just didn't, wasn't really, there wasn't anything I really wanted to play back then on it. I didn't even know, I didn't even see that, I haven't seen a single Dreamcast commercial in my life. Yeah, well I saw some Dreamcast commercials, and there was a Sonic Adventure commercial for the Dreamcast, and I remember wanting to play that, but then Sonic Adventure came for the GameCube, so I'm like, okay, let's play that. <laughs> Come on, Zach, take the sword now, no, no, where are you going? No. <laughs> it's like calling you, Zach. It's literally like right there. Why would he just leave the sword right there? No, because the plot demands it. I guess. Genesis copies. So, like, let me get this straight. Even though they're copies and you're killing them like nothing, are you telling me the real Genesis is pushed over? No, I think it's assumed these are like lesser copies. How, how does that make any sense? I don't know. Like a, a, a like in a, like a, a weaker clone or something. How do you make a weaker clone? I don't know. Ask the stormtroopers. Weren't they all oh. like? Weren't they no, all? No 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 no. No, we're talking about original trilogy. <laughs> I, I'm saying those stormtroopers are freaking people that enlisted in the in the empire. Yeah, by the term, by the term of the original trilogy. Yes. Okay, th that would make sense then. That's it. Wait, hold on. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. In the prequel trilogy, either episode two or three, were any of those clone troopers missing shots? Uh, you know what? I could give you an answer if I actually remember what I remember. It's episode two I don't two think three. so. I don't think they were missing shots. Episode two, the only time they came is when they were they were in that arena with the rest of the Jedi. Like near the fucking end. Yeah, and then episode three, they killed a lot of they killed a lot of Jedi. Well, granted, Darth Vader was there, but <laughs> no, when they executed Order Six, whatever Sixty Six. Oh, oh yeah, just in general, yeah. So, yeah, they killed. See, they did that, and then uh, what? They shot. They shot robots. And yeah. Obi Wan Kenobi got out alive because you know plot demands it. Yeah, because you can't have them. With, you can't have the other movies without him. So see, those clone tro those those troopers were like, they could shoot. Original story, the later Star troopers can't shoot for shit. Uh, they 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 couldn't. They were barely. They were passed through the academy with like a, with a with a buy or something. <laughs> now the fact that they honestly just started that week. <laughs> I just I just joined the force and I have two weeks left until retirement. <laughs> Fuck. That's stupid. I just joined the for force and I got two weeks until retirement. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a hell of a plan. <laughs> that's, that's stupid. <laughs> that's not even retirement. That's like after two weeks I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> into retirement. Boom. Activating combat mode. kind of funny though. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I guess you could argue that. So what the hell is this? Where, is these, where, do, where do these giant robots come from? I don't know. World of Final Fantasy. Where are they coming? I oh whatever. Well, I I think they explained that that, that the, our enemies stole like Shinra technology and made their their own robots. So I think Genesis or someone made this shit. Every time you say Genesis, I think of that Star Trek movie. Oh yes. <laughs> Christopher Lloyd! Uh, Doc Brown. What? 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 Chicka Watts! Uh, 
I try to go here to get the chest, but I think Song calls me and tells me, no, you're supposed to go on the cliff. No, I want to get the chest right now. It's not like I'm going inside. He's like, no. <laughs> I can see you. No. No. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Fuck it. Fuck it, going back. Or, you know, you can plant a bomb in the front as a distraction. Oh, that could work, and then and then Song but could just no. actually yeah, we could cause a distraction while Song uses his like stealth agent skills to sneak in. Nope, because the plot demands you to backtrack, cause padding. Cause padding, yeah. That's the one thing I hope your video game doesn't do. Pad out the game, <laughs> make it yes. longer for no reason. You can say that about a lot of things. Dude, I'm sorry, but backtracking sucks. Uh, I think I found it pretty annoying in Devil May Cry 4 when you had to go through the, like, the most of the game as Nero and then you're like, oh, we gotta play as Dante near the end. Oh, wait, so what are the levels this time? Oh, we're just backtracking now. Fuck. Exactly. <laughs> and then there's that bullshit about that whole new re-release special edition for Devil May Cry 4 when it features the character of Virgil, Lady, and Anne. Like, Trey. Like, and then it's actually just nothing different from the main game. It's just different character models and just playing through the game as those characters the, as those characters there's no those significance never do really do anything and Virgil's story doesn't really have a fed up answer that's satisfactory to me they're just kind of there to play as I mean in Devil May Cry 3 you could play as Virgil in, through Dante stages nothing was really different there just like hey you can play as Virgil in Dante stages throughout the game nothing really different there and from my research I found out that the new characters are overpowered what, Trish, Lady, and Virgil? Yes. <laughs> like, just to make our characters that we used to play as, like, not ne seem nearly as significant now? Yes. It's kind of weird that they would release that years later. Like, f seven years later after Devil May Cry 4 came out. I don't know. Like, this is, like, I've heard of, like, late stuff and game stuff, but this is ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> I thought, you know what? We're gonna release a special edition. Seven years, years later. Dun, dun, dun. That's so stupid. What's this? Majin Buu came out. Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, so yeah, seven years after the Cell Games, Majin Buu happened. Fuck. Wow, for seven years. <laughs> they don't look any different. What are they talking about? Gohan grew up. Cares about Gohan. Well, a lot of people care about Gohan, just that he kind of like lost his like appeal after the Cell Saga. Hell yeah, he did. <laughs> and he just well, okay, when he became Mystic. Here we go. We ha we keep ha we always keep we always keep bringing that shit up every time we talk about Gohan. <laughs> well, how can every we not? How can we not? Episode we do this. <laughs> it's sad, really. At this point, it's like kicking a dead horse. It's not like even kicking a dead horse. It's kicking his fucking gravestone at this point. You know what? It's not even his gravestone. Cause you wanna know what happened? Someone built a freaking office building on top of that dead horse's grave. And you're just kicking the building at that point. You're kicking the building on top of the grave of a dead horse. Well, I'm still confused because it was the whole battle of the gods thing. Okay, and if you watch, if you, oh my if, gosh, here we go. Okay, if you watch the whole battle, he, he he did have his mystic powers there, but then by the time the revival of F movie happens, it's like he he, he Gohan struggles to even go Super Saiyan. What? Dude, oh. you dude, you were able to go to you were able to go to Super Saiyan super easy when you were like 11 years old. What's so hard about it now? <laughs> Well, maybe he has performance issues. I mean, you, you spent, he spent a whole year in the hyperbolic time chamber as a Super Saiyan without transforming back into his normal form. Because he trained with Goku to become full power Super Saiyan. So this isn't really a new transformation, by the way. It's just like a, a it's assumed mastery of the Super Saiyan state. <laughs> Whatever. Because they didn't want to be ascended Super Saiyans like Trunks and, and uh, Vegeta. Cause, okay. Because it bulks up their muscles and they move slower. Uh, uh, sorry, I let a, I accidentally let a fly in. Yeah. Because the, the, the said that Super Saiyan was strong, but he, he got slower, and Goku's like, nah, I need speed. I need speed. 
Brave. Especially when Trunks did that super ultra saiyan transformation and he got super buff. And I'm like, have you been reading 90s comic books lately? <laughs> 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 Toriyama was just reading a lot of 90s grunge comics and he saw like wow these protagonists are freaking buff as fuck the fun. 1990s grunge Crimson Chain <laughs> yeah the 90s 90s grunge Crimson Chain and the new millennial Crimson Chain that's where he comes back you can always count on me and me and me not me I got cancelled <laughs> you can't swear oh the 1995 grunge Crimson Chain can swear yeah and I got cancelled <laughs> oh dude that was the best <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize how much of a how much of a throwback that was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, here's our main villain, Genesis. Oh, by the way, he likes quoting his freaking poems. <laughs> what soft? <laughs> like three yes, other window breaks. What is the east? And Juliet <laughs> is the sun. <laughs> No. Gaze upon her as she has her hand, as she holds her hand on the left side of that cheek. Oh, how I would die to be the be the hand of that cheek that she laid bare. <laughs> okay, though, no, but more specifically, he likes quoting this uh, poem called "Loveless," which is apparently popular play slash poem in the Final Fantasy VII universe. And he, so Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> well, I think, yeah, 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 pretty much. Dude, I'm so good at this game. I don't even know the story, and I just nailed it. <laughs> Hey, it's like, it's li he's literally Archer from Fate Stay Night or whatever. Oh yeah, holy shit. <laughs> if you, I mean like, yeah, there's that. And Are you talking about because just because of his coat? It's his coat and the, and the fucking shoulder pads. Now if I think about it, he reminds me of, he reminds me of, uh, uh, Knives. Knives Chow? No, oh, the other Knives. Welcome, Which knives? I only know like one knife. Knives with the Vash's brother. Oh, oh, that guy. Yeah, because he had the stupid shoulder pads. Oh yeah, that too. They had that too. And like, it's really, it's really bothering me now. Right. Oh uh, hey, look! I just realized he just came in to help you out. No, he just—he's not gonna help us. He's actually just gonna go with his friend here. No, 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 I just realized he just showed up. I'm like, what the fuck? When did he get in here? He just popped in. He just hacked the system. This is some GU bullshit. Some dot hack GU bullshit? It is. Okay, well, we'll see you guys next part when we...